digital libraries and crowdsourcing. There is already a long tradition of recourse to citizens by the states in the form of open calls. And when the state did not use citizens' work but citizens' money, we talked about subscriptions. In libraries, as early as the 19th century, some of the work of librarians was outsourced to users with free access. Today, crowdsourcing could be defined as a type of participative online activity in which an institution or a company proposes to a group of individuals via an open call the voluntary undertaking of task. The crowd participates by bringing their work, money, knowledge and experience, which always entails mutual benefit. Libraries have fewer and fewer resources to do the work necessary to complete their projects. So they could outsource to the crowd of web users rather than outsourcing some of their tasks to the providers using the workforce in low-cost countries. The online crowd includes specialists in all domains and individuals prepared to become involved. They could even fulfill objectives it would have been impossible to imagine and achieve before. Insofar as character recognition by OCR software gives very different results depending on the fonts and the state of original documents and depending on the quality of scanning, participatory projects can, for correction, obtain high quality articles better indexed by search engines and most importantly compatible with e-readers. Participatory correction OCR has been experimented in too many projects to be able to evoke all of them. However, we can mention Wikisource. On the Amazon platform, it is possible to recruit, very simply, among 500,000 workers of all skills. Digitization funding can also be outsourced to the crowd. It is digitization on demand through crowdfunding. With WorkCAPTCHA, users must type the distorted images of two words to prove that they are not malicious robots and to create an account on a website. In doing so, they contribute to correct OCR texts from Google Books. One of the two words comes from Google Books and is not recognized by a dictionary, while another word is used for safety reasons. With the slogan Stop Span Read Books, ReCAPTCHA allows about 100 million words to be corrected each day. Digital code involved users in the form of games on the web. In this game, you had to recapture each word from the OCR to build each brick of a bridge, allowing moles to across a river, so that as few moles as possible drown. Any errors are invariably punished by the explosion of a bridge brick. Chapter 1 addresses the philosophical, political and economic representations of crowdsourcing and its consequences regarding the way libraries function. This conceptual chapter contains in particular a critical discussion regarding the definition of crowdsourcing, an original chronology of its historical origins, an analysis on the subject of its conceptual origins in philosophical currents, a reflection on the concept of the wisdom of crowds, an analysis of the diverse critics of crowdsourcing applied to digital libraries that some people could describe today as the uberization of digital libraries. Chapter 2 contains a panorama of projects by types of tasks with putting content online and participative creation digitization and print on demand in the form of crowdfunding, participative correction of OCR and participative transcription of manuscripts, folksonomy. In Chapter 3, analysis a state of the art is offered with notably 
an original taxonomy of crowdsourcing in digital libraries, an analysis of the motivations of libraries and the conditions necessary for the development of crowdsourcing projects, a taxonomy of the motivations of internet users who contribute to their projects, analysis of the possible rewards and remuneration, Clarification regarding the communication necessary for recruitment. Developments in the specific community management of this type of project. Analysis of the question of the quality and the reintegration of the data produced. Reflection on the evaluation of crowdsourcing projects.